Hi, I'm going to walk through using open source data diff as part of a PR code review process to catch unexpected changes in data even when all your tests are passing. So we can see this, this commenting out of a union and changing uh, something in this is internal column logic. Uh, I could see how that would change the data, but I don't know exactly how and what the scope of the impact will be. So we can go ahead and run a data diff, get more insight into that. And I'll just briefly explain, I know this is a lot of text, but I promise it's pretty straightforward once you uh, get accustomed to it. This just logs you into Snowflake, um, and then you specify the table you're interested in and the schema you want to compare that table to. So prod to dev or prod to PR, for example. And then you can specify your primary key the columns that you want to investigate for diffs. Um, this is an optional where statement. You'll recognize W and it's just a where statement right here. And then this uh, gives data diff some instructions around how to materialize the data in the warehouse, which we will use in a moment for um, analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. So you can evaluate the command line output just to start your process, and that might be enough. Um, maybe it'll be nothing and then there's no change. But in this case, we see um, this is an example of a primary key, and the minus sign indicates it's missing from one of the branches, in this case, the PR branch. If you see two rows, it's not missing. You can see the primary keys in both rows. Something else is wrong, and over here you can see this value conflicts. Um, so that will probably be your first step, just sort of looking at the command line output, but you can right away jump into the warehouse and look at the materialized results. So I'm going to drop the latest test results table that was materialized. So we just created this and we can use this for every analytic query that we are about to run. Um, just to give you a sense for the structure, you have columns like table one org ID and table two org ID and is exclusive A is exclusive B. So whether it's missing from one of the tables. Um, and so this is a convenient table structure for writing all sorts of queries, which I'm about to show you. Um, so we know there are missing primary keys. Um, if we run a query like this, we can learn pretty quickly something that a broader overall summary wouldn't show us, which is that the primary keys are mostly missing from this time period, the uh, summer of 2021. So you can see total in production, 79, and over half of them are missing from the PR. And all of them are missing from the PR the previous month. As you can see, that drops off quite a bit. And then as you get to the present, very few primary keys exist. So we can ignore, well, we can just take that into account. Um, now, if you look at the same query over time, but for um, the internal ID Boolean column that was also edited and also included in our diff, we don't see the same pattern. Um, let's see. Oh, we probably want to order by the same thing just to make it a little more readable. Okay. so. We still don't see the same pattern, um, just a few conflicts every month. Now, we do still want to know what the impact of that uh, logical change is and kind of where we can expect to see it. And then we could maybe take that back to the code author or another stakeholder and try to understand, like, did we mean to, you know, impact the values of this column? So here we have prod is internal value, PR is internal value and account. So in most of the rows, false has remained false, but in 43 rows, true has become false. And then in the remaining rows, well, it's null in the PR. Those are the ones where the primary key is missing. And so that adds up to 123. So we definitely want to, before we hit merge on that PR or approve it or say, it looks good to me, we want to understand, did you really mean to change the value of true to false for the is internal value. And um, if you did, well, this is the impact that I noticed when I ran a data diff. Uh, 